Hey guys, this is Bluff Monkey back again for Sonic Academy and in today's set of tech tips we're going to take another look at the Ableton Racks. Basically the Racks are a supremely powerful tool built into Ableton Live um, and what I want to look at today is several ways that they can be used practically to improve workflow. So let's get straight in. In this video, I want to take a very quick look at how to make a simple dry wet knob for any plugin. Let's get stuck in. Right, so this is an absurdly useful little trick uh, that you can use Ableton Live audio racks for. So what I want to do is, um, I mean, I've got quite a few third-party compressor plugins, for example, that don't have a dry wet knob, um, but I'm going to use something from Ableton, and I believe, uh, I was looking at this earlier, Vinyl Distortion, for example. That doesn't have a traditional uh, dry wet knob. So let me just switch it off for a second. Um, have a listen to this loop that I've pulled in. Okay, so I want to apply vinyl distortion to this loop, but I might not necessarily want it on 100% like all the time. So let's do something with this. Okay, obviously that's clipping like crazy, but we'll sort that out in a second. So I'm going to right click on vinyl distortion and I'm going to group it and that places it in a rack for me. Uh, we're just going to need one macro control for this. And I want to open up the change list as well. So first things first, I'm just going to drop a limiter behind vinyl distortion. So see what I did there? I put it in the same... Let me just do that again for you. Drag the limiter down, and when that blue line appears, it's going to drop in right after vinyl distortion. So it's in the same chain. So let's call this chain wet. And I'm going to right click down here where it says drop audio effects here and create another chain. And we'll call that one dry. So that's created a secondary audio um, channel for us. So the top one, that's wet. And the bottom one is dry. Now to create our knob, uh, just click on this little chain button here. Now this is an extraordinarily confusing little piece of user interface here. Um, I, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. But basically, you've got a control at the top here that allows you to blend between values. And what I need to do is come down to this section here, and when you get the bracket, pull this all the way across, and then do the same for the dry. Okay. And then inexplicably, there's a little paler blue line on top there. And for the wet signal, we want to get our cursor right there. So you've got another bracket and pull this across. And can you see that we've got this kind of fade in here? And we want to do the opposite with the dry signal. OK, so when the blue slider thingy at the top here is on the left, the dry signal is 100% wet and then it fades down and the wet signal is 100% off and it allows this to fade up. Like I said, it's not the most, u it's not the most um, intuitive user interface here, but that's what we need to do. And then this slider at the top, we want to assign this. So if I right click anywhere up here, I want to assign this to macro one and then macro one allows us to scroll between all of those values. So we can call this um, dry slash wet. And now what happens is when the macro nubs all the way over to the left, we get the dry signal and then we can blend in the wet signal on a plugin that didn't have a dry wet knob. And I have used this numerous times for third party compressors, all the, all the live ones, I think all the live ones, um, yeah, all the live ones have got dry wet uh, options on them already. Um, but I'm not going to go through my plugin list now, but I had a load from Plugin Alliance that just didn't have the dry wet knob, for example. So anyway, let's have a listen to this. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it's excruciatingly useful to be able to do that. So a little short video, but one of the many uses to use Ableton effect racks on display once again. So I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons.